The size of two interior angles of an irregular polygon each measures 90 degrees. All the other remaining interior angles each measure 150 degrees. Determine the number of sides of the polygon. Three marks. Now, before you solve this question, there's something that we need to understand, and that is, how do we get the sum of interior angles of any regular or irregular polygon? This is how we get it. The sum of interior angles of irregular or regular polygon is given by 2n minus 4 right angles. You can simplify this by opening the brackets and uh, it will be the same thing it will be 180n subtract 360 degrees so these are we get the sum of interior angles and i have emphasized either irregular or it can be a regular polygon now in this uh, polygon that we have here we shall therefore say this that the sum of the interior angles of this polygon will be given by 180n subtract uh, 360 and this is given by the two angles are equal that is uh, 90 degrees and 90 degrees then we given that there are other remaining angles interior angles that measures 150 degrees but now we don't know how many of these angles that measures 150 degrees so what are we going to do so after taking the two angles that measure 90 degrees, the remaining angles will be indicated by 150 multiplied by the remaining angles will be n subtract 2. Now, the something that I did indicate here, that 2n minus 4 right angles, here n represents, n represents the number of sides the number of sides of this polygon and there's something that we need to understand uh, the number of sides is equivalent so number of sides is equals to the number of angles in any polygon this is what i mean i can give an example with um, a triangle a triangle has three sides three sides that is uh, for a triangle then it has got three angles a quadrilateral has four sides has four angles so you can see the relationship between the number of sides and the number of angles so in this case n representing the number of sides you've already taken two angles so and the total number of sides is n so the remaining angles will therefore be n subtract 2 so n is the total number of sides of this polygon when we take the two angles that measures 90 degrees each uh, the remaining angles will be n subtract 2 now this is now the equation that is supposed to solve and get n which now will represent the number of sides so let's go straight to these so solve this equation so 180 so 180 uh, n subtract uh, 360 we can take uh, let, let us open this bracket first so 180 let me resize this so you get 180 n and then um minus 360 degrees is equals to 90 plus 90 this will be 180 degrees plus uh, this will be 150 n minus 300 like terms together let me take uh, 180 n and then I subtract 150 n is equals to um, then 180 degrees taking negative 360 the right hand side you get plus 360 then subtract 300 degrees so this should give 180 minus 150 this will give 30 degrees is equals to 180 plus 360 minus 300 this will give um, 
know this is a calculator this gives a 240 degrees um, and this is n forgot to write this this is um, when you subtract uh, 180n subtract 150n you get 30n so 30n is equals 240 and therefore n is equals to 8 sides so remember n was the initial number of sides and that one we've got it as 8 sides so that is how you're supposed to solve that question mm -hmm.